So first on the list are the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines. The crystal clear advantage of Columbia-class will be its new nuclear reactor. She can bypass the pricey and time-consuming maintenance process called refueling and overhaul, which is required after half of the submarine's service life. This will keep it out to sea longer and save $40 billion over its lifetime. Second is the new USS Enterprise CVN-80, which will be the greatest aircraft carrier ever built. The CVN-80 will have a powerful air wing of up to 90 aircraft, more than the USS Gerald R. Ford. Along with the close-in weapons system and RIM-7 Sparrows, there's a high probability that it would be armed with laser weapons like XN-1 laws to defend against hypersonic missiles. The third is the B-21 Raider. The new stealthy 21st-century bomber will be able to penetrate even the strongest air defenses, like the Russian S-500 Prometheus. The best thing here is that 100 bombers are expected to be built, which means the Air Force can keep some of them on the mainland US, and the rest can be deployed at the US bases around China.